Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we'll be taking a look at two twin piston aircraft. This will be our first comparison video where we compare two twin piston aircraft. Our first aircraft is the Beechcraft Baron G58. The next aircraft is the Diamond DA62. If you want to skip the introduction of each aircraft, you can go to the timestamp on screen to watch the comparison of the specifications of these aircraft. In March of 2012, Diamond announced the aircraft that they would deem the ultimate flying machine. This aircraft would be a twin engine light aircraft, which first flew on April 3rd, 2012, named at the time the Diamond DA-52, but it was later announced in 2014 that the production aircraft would be named the Diamond DA-62. This impressive aircraft has a national origin of Austria. It's being produced in two versions. The European version has seating for up to five people, while the United States version has seating for up to seven people. It began being produced in 2015, and as of April 2019, there were 120 built. Our next aircraft, which is also a twin-engine light aircraft, had a much earlier start with its first flight happening on February 29th of 1960 and being introduced in 1961. Unbelievably, it's been produced ever since with over 6,880 built so far. The Beechcraft Baron is actually a twin-engined variant of the Beechcraft Bonanza and was built to directly compete with aircraft like the Cessna 310 and Piper Aztec. In 1960, Piper introduced the Aztec and Cessna improved the engines on the Cessna 310. So Beechcraft had to put a plan together and they got it done quickly and successfully. The Beechcraft Baron started with the fuselage of a Bonanza, the tail of the Beechcraft Debonair, and a pair of six cylinder engines. The flight deck of both the Beechcraft Baron G58 and Diamond DA62 features Garmin G1000 NXI avionics. It comes with two high resolution displays and it's equipped to meet and exceed aerospace modernization initiatives for ADS-B and more. Some standard features include things like Garmin electronic stability and protection and underspeed protection, integrated VFR sectional charts, and IFR high and low charts with night mode. Now we're gonna compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for the Beechcraft Baron G58 is Continental Aerospace Technologies. The Beechcraft Baron G58 is powered by two IO550C engine models with a power output of 300 horsepower each. They're partnered with Macaulay three blade metal constant speed propellers. The engine manufacturer for the Diamond DA62 is Austro Engine. The Diamond DA62 is powered by two AE330 turbocharged common rail injected 2 liter jet fuel piston engine models with a power output of 180 horsepower each. They're partnered with MT Propeller 3 blade constant speed propellers. Next is a comparison between the specifications of these aircraft. The Beechcraft Baron G58 has a basic operating weight of 3,965 pounds, a max takeoff weight of 5,500 pounds, and a useful load of 1,559 pounds. The Diamond DA62 has a basic operating weight of 3,505 pounds, a max takeoff mass of 5,071 pounds, and a useful load of 1,565 pounds. That's a useful load difference of just 6 pounds. Now that you've seen those numbers, let's check out the speed capability of these aircraft. When it comes to speed, the Diamond DA62 falls short. It has a max speed of 192 knots, while the Beechcraft Baron G58 has a max cruise speed of 202 knots. Next, we're looking at the service ceiling for these aircraft. The Beechcraft Baron G58 has a service ceiling of 20,688 feet, just 688 feet more than the Diamond DA62 service ceiling of 20,000 feet. Now, the Beechcraft Baron G58 has a max rate of climb of 1,700 feet per minute, while the Diamond DA62 has a max rate of climb of 1029 feet per minute. Next, onto the range of these two aircraft. The Beechcraft Baron G58 
has a maximum range of 1,480 nautical miles, while the Diamond DA62 can fly a range of 1,283 nautical miles. Now let's talk about how much distance these aircraft need to take off and to land. The Beechcraft Baron G58 needs 2,345 feet to take off, while the Diamond DA62 needs 1,574 feet to take off. The Beechcraft Baron G58 needs 2,490 feet to land, while the Diamond DA62 needs 1,447 feet to land. The Beechcraft Baron G58 has a cost of about $1,495,000 US dollars, and the standard equipped Diamond DA62 in 2016 is around $1,080,000. Based on $5 per gallon for fuel cost and 450 annual owner operated hours, inclusive of fixed and variable costs, the Beechcraft Baron G58 cost approximately $503.47 an hour to operate. In contrast, the Diamond DA62 cost approximately $374.17 an hour to operate. Lastly, we will compare exterior dimensions. The Beechcraft Baron G58 has a length of 29 feet 10 inches, a wingspan of 37 feet 10 inches, while standing 9 feet 9 inches tall. The Diamond DA62 has a length of 30 feet 2 inches, a wingspan of 47 feet 9 inches, while standing 9 feet 3 inches tall. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to know your thoughts on the Beechcraft Baron G58 and Diamond DA62. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.